What's going on, button pushers? Today, I want to talk to you guys about a light from Aperture, the 60D or the 60X, that I really believe is one of the best for TikTok creators, YouTube creators, and just creators in general. Before we get started with the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and drop me some comments below. Let me know what you might think that you would use this light for or, you know, just what you think about it in general. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Aperture had inspiration from the Red Komodo to make this because it's literally a 4x4x4 square with an LCD screen, pretty much like the Komodo. And literally the biggest thing about this light is that it is small. That's pretty much the biggest feature. It's tiny and that makes for so many different options as far as where you can put it, how you can use it, where you can, you know, mount it on C stands and how high you can put it up and how much work you have to put in as far as weight and counterweights go. For professional use like grips and electrics where you have to mount lights super high on C stands and a bunch in a bunch of different places, this works really, really well because of its size, how small it is and how you can control it with Citus Link Tech, which we're going to talk about later, but also that it comes with a Bowens mount full size that you can use any kind of diffuser you want whether it's the lantern, whether it's the dome, whether it's a Fresnel, whatever you want, you can use it. It does come with its own Bowens Mount Mini Reflector that is made specifically for this, and it does work really well, and it's really, 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 really bright. One thing you're gonna get out of the box is a Sony NPF battery adapter for this, and it mounts straight onto the light, and if you want to run V-mounts with this light, it does have the slot on the side, but you're going to need to buy your own barrel to D-tap so you can power it through the V-mount itself. Aperture has so many different like AC adapter ways to secure the power adapter to the light and this time they chose a barrel adapter which is pretty much a screw in once you plug it and it just keeps it secure and makes sure it doesn't unplug itself. So the reason why I say this light is perfect for creators is that it's just the bare minimum. It just gives you what you need and nothing more. You know you have the light, you have the Bluetooth power, you have the levels that you control 0 to 100 and that's pretty much it. Now, if you have the 60X, you do have bicolor. So you can do from Kelvin levels of 2700 up to what I believe is like 8,000 for aperture. The Kelvin level is 2700 to 6500. So, you know, you can go through any range of that. You know, it's just orange and bright white. The locking system for the Bones mount is super, super tough. It was really hard for me to actually pull out the Bones mount thing. Maybe it's the reflector, but the Bones mount seems kind of tight. And that's really good because there's a lot of Bones mounts out there on my other aperture lights that seem pretty loose and really flimsy. The 200X Bones mount broke a few times, actually. There's going to be nine lighting effects that come you know with default with most of Aperture's new products you know the strobes the party lights the paparazzi all that so if you really want to run some cool effects you can definitely do that with this light and it also has an ultra quiet active cooling system which means you know the fan isn't supposed to run too loud but it is in a tiny body so I don't really know exactly how long that's gonna hold up you know it could get louder over time but we're just gonna have to see and lastly with side link technology which I absolutely love from Aperture you can control your light from your phone through the the app and you can control as many lights as you want so let's say you have like five 60 D's and you can just power them all on and you know control them intensity color temperature and all that just through the app even make effects so the brightness on this light is insane the quality is really really good and it's just so small that pretty much anybody can use it to light up a room really quick to create some content whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube or even in a professional setting where you need to mount it super high up and you just want to do a little bit less work because you don't want to throw up a whole P300 up there or a 300D or a 600D Pro. There's a lot of different options out there and I feel like the 60D is one to consider based on its size and how small it is kind of like how the Komodo is considered as a at least a B cam because of its size and how how well you can rig it up and put it in places like on even FPV drone like it's one of those kind of situations where it's just a really 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 good size a really good price at the price of 150 for the D and the 200 for the X and that's just gonna get you a lot of places based on how tiny it is and how much power it has packed into that tiny little box so if you're a creator and you're looking for a light to use I feel like the 60D or the 60X might be a really 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 good option for you of course you have ring lights and all that stuff 
stuff out there, but I feel like the 6D and the 60X just pack so much of a punch and it's portable. So if you really need to carry it around and you have someone who can hold it for you or something, you can bring it outside to even create content there because it's just really nice to have that portable battery option as well as an AC wall plug. That way you have a lot of options as far as what you want to do, where you can do it and how much power you can actually give. So if you guys feel like picking up, they may be on back order at the time of watching this, but I leave a link in the description below for you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and drop me in that comment below. Let me know what you think and what you might even use this live for. Keep pushing buttons guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.